New at 5, the Cherokee Nation unveiled a new child development center in Katusa to help families not only find care for their children, but also to give citizens employment opportunities. Fox 23's Jade Morrow is live in Katusa. Jade, you spoke with someone who's been struggling to find any care in that area. That's right, but now with this new child development center, he says he's definitely going to be using it. It's going to be a a game changer and a tool not only for myself but I know a lot of employees in the area for Cherokee Nation that have kids and it, it's difficult. That's what Jacob Keller told me about the new child development center in the works in Catoosa. Keller is from Tulsa and has two kids, a nine-year-old with Erlen syndrome and dyslexia and an 18-month-old. In the past, he's relied on family and friends to help watch the kids while at work. It definitely gave me that sense of, you know, most of the time we would talk was, you know, hey, can, can you can you help me out? Can can you, you know, take care of the kids? Can you do this? And I mean, there there's been some relationships that, you know, have hindered because it's like, and you only call me and use me. He says the conflict was getting in the way of both of his and his wife's work and personal lives. With this new child development center, it's not only going to help his family. You know, having uh, a center this close to not only where we live but work within Cherokee Nation uh, would help us out better with having more tools available for us. The $25 million center near East Pine and North 193rd will allow up to 100 kids to get care, providing 10 classrooms, two playgrounds, two storm shelters, and more. It will also employ 75 people. Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. says this project is combating multiple problems all in one. As we talk about adding slots and making this accessible, if your neighbor, if your neighbor gets to go to work, and she gets to go have a great career and she can provide a safe place for her child here in Katusa. Everybody wins. With this new project, Keller says he is forever grateful for what the Cherokee Nation does for its people. I'm, I'm ever grateful to, you know, the community and, you know, Cherokee Nation. Just it, it's, it's amazing. Every, th every time I need something, they're willing to help out as best they can. Chief Oskin also shared how he personally feels for families that don't have the sources for child care. And I'm working on that part of the story for Fox 23 News at 6. Live in Katusa, covering news that matters, I'm Jade Morrow, Fox 23 News. The Cherokee Nation hopes to have the center completed by next fall.